Now I had previously balanced this gimbal, the Moza Air 2 gimbal. And uh, by the way, watch out for the uh, review, which I never done. I only did the unboxing. And uh, this, if I take off the cap right now, of the lens cover, you see it's back to being balanced. This goes to show you how every weight matters when you balance your gimbal. But we're not here to talk about the Moza Air 2. Neither are we here to talk about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. But today, we're here to talk about this lens from Mikey. All right? It is the Mikey 60 or Mica, whichever it's called, 16 millimeters um, T2.2, not F, not F, T2.2. And um, yeah, we're gonna break it down. Coming up. Now, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, I appreciate if you can just um, join the family by clicking the subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm sure you'll love at least something that we do. And we do movies, short movies, um, tech reviews, which are all these, um, movie reviews. You know, we review movies that you saw in the cinema. And get, let me know if you're interested in acting in any of the short movie series um, in the comments below. Let me also know if you have a YouTube channel and you run um, you're into film, cinematography, anything like I do. And I would like to follow you in on your journey too. Once you let me know this is what you're into and I'll jump on your channel and subscribe as well. That way we'll learn from each other and we connect, okay? Uh, but just let me know, all right? So today we are reviewing this uh, lens from Mikey. Mikey has been releasing some lenses uh, prior to now, which never got my attention. Um, but I don't know how they did it right now. This set of lenses, which are like, uh, there's um, 16 and 25, I think both came at first. And then there's also 12, which just 12 millimeters, T2.2, all T2.2s. Um, came out recently and they are all really 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 good you know uh from the reviews i've seen and then the one i've tested it is you see it it's a cinema lens it is f it is not f stop it is t stuff and it's t 2.2 um which which is decent light <laughs> very decent light um let me just cover this back there you want to keep your lens clean on the black magic pocket cinema camera 4k at least um, i didn't notice any wiggle room it is sturdy stays in place check this out okay i think it is mainly built of metal okay uh which is pretty pretty solid you know solid lens you know very solid it is a bit heavy and um like all cine lenses, but it's smaller than most of the uh, cine lenses out there. This is a very, very compatible size uh, with almost any camera. It is basically for the uh, micro four thirds, which usually I won't jump into because uh, at some point in time, we hope to upgrade from this camera to a full frame at some point in time. Not that this isn't good, especially with the 4K. You could settle for this for for any job, for any level, you know, you could settle for this. It's it is 90% in the class of any other lens out there. I hope you guys won't shoot at me now. But yes, it is. The only downside is, is on the micro for third crop sensor, which I don't think is a big deal, being that I'm shooting on 4K and RAW, 4K DCI RAW, all right? I mean, most times clients want their job in 1080p anyway all right so you might i mean that's a that's a very good range for you to downsize and get a good a very good quality out then again even the one in a 4k it will be in a 4k format coming from raw it's gonna be mwah, sweet now um is this lens 100 percent perfect no it's got some little issues for a fraction of the price which is like um not 90 percent of the price no t2.2 
10 to 20 percent of the price because most of the lenses out there you will buy for like two thousand five thousand ten thousand and this lens will match up most of them okay so that's what i'm talking about now the issues with the lens is, is number one focus breathing which is unnoticeable so how well do you zoom the focus falls between two subjects by each other you know which is um which is only which only applies for all into film and um, maybe some product reviews and stuff like that you know but um it I, I, and and then yet you could you could work with it so when you know when you understand your device you know you know what to expect you could you could know how to rack focus and get it sharp on point uh, next is the uh, chromatic aberration you have to go with hunting for you to get the chromatic aberration but nothing that will affect your picture or make it a poor picture i mean nothing to worry about you know so who is it for i would say it's it's an all-round lens it is a lens you could use on a music video like i plan to um on a documentary it is a lens that you could use on a short film or movie you could use it on pretty much a documentary anything a commercial oh yeah your, your clients will love this picture i can afford i can say i can afford to take this one with me um buy this and the 85 millimeters and um i won't regret it because I'm, I'm i will hold on to this regardless i know that i'm going to be you know using a lot of cameras so why say now buy it later well maybe for price it might come cheaper but i, I just don't like moving things around I get used to my stuff and I stay with them. It's not an F-stop, uh, it's a T-stop, which means that it will always have the same amount of light. It's not an estimate, which the F-stop is. All, yeah, all your F-stops, yes. It's an estimate. Um, they are estimating the amount of light getting into the sensor, but for the T-stop, you can be sure that this same amount of light will uh, um, always get into the lens sensor regardless of um of uh, micro four thirds or full frame regardless of those facts it will still um be the same stop of light and that can help you when you're matching cameras multiple cameras it should be easy to uh, expose rightly across the board it's got a wide aperture the clicked aperture you know so you you can you know you can almost do achieve anything on location if you want and then i'm going to get the lens um i'm going to get a filter you might want to put add a filter just to soften the look a little bit especially for narrative it gives me that um crispy feel that uh, um you know it just put a finalizing texture to the to the image from this uh, camera so um, I, I would advise um, a Tiffin or a, a Gobe, I think that, that was also good, you know, and the filter on it just to, you know, keep it clean as much as possible. You'll love that, but I haven't gotten that there, that's on the way, and then uh, we'll see more pictures about with that later on. But for now, this is just going to be the raw picture. On the gimbal, it's perfect, I already showed, it's already balanced on the gimbal right now, and um, um, not so much weight, you know, and the gimbal, it takes it very well. So this is a lot more commercial lens um, that is exactly, arguably exactly like the Vedra for, for a fraction of the price. But this is just one lens and, you know, you always need more lenses, you know, because uh, like they say, date your camera, marry your lenses. The lenses is what you want to take from stage to stage. Um, but that's the drawback on this one. This is for this Micro Four Thirds camera. It's not going nowhere besides the Micro Four Thirds camera, the GH5, the Blackmagic 4K and all that stuff, okay? Um, but that's been it. That's been my review. Um, let's let this guy go back to sleep. All right, back to sleep. So thank you guys for watching. Um, 
if there's anything I didn't point out. Oh, the bouquet. Um, it, it comes round and lovely, you know. Undisturbed, it's, it's, the bouquet is on point. And as I'll show you in this clip. And um, yeah, and then I must say at twice the price, it will still be a good buy. At twice the price of about 700, this lens will still be worth it, in my opinion. But I'm happy that I'm not paying twice the price. This is 359. That's my take on it. Watch out for my review of the gimbal. It's finally out. I'll explain to you why I haven't done it uh, prior to this time in the other video. There's also more videos coming about uh, Moza Slipod. That's uh, I just uh, made a first look video and more videos coming out on these. You don't want to miss it. So subscribe to this channel. Like, please like. It helps our video get out there and subscribe. I think our next giveaway will be at the 2000 point mark, which is not so far away. And um, you might want to click on um, the all so you get notified when that time comes. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time. Go ahead and ask questions if, as much as I can. I would love to answer it and I'll reply promptly. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you. Peace out.